Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Backyard Beer Brothers. Like always, we're going to be drinking some beers. Always a fan. Obviously, check out the background. Big beer man myself, JD2. Yep. Always. But today, what I've done is, I've actually got a couple of beers. This guy doesn't know what we're going to be drinking. I thought we would try a couple of dessert beers. Alright. Big fan of desserts? No. Nah. Oh. No, nah, not really. Neither am I. They call me two mains. <laughs> Yeah, they actually used to call me Two Mains Doherty because instead of getting a dessert, I'll just get a second main. That was an actual name for a long period of time. Two Mains Doherty. Two Mains, bro. Two mains, bro. It was before Two Chains. He took that shit from me. He didn't. Bro, that was this. He was teed up a rapper name right there. Two Mains. Boom. All right. But, like I said, we've got two different dessert beers, two different breweries as well. The cool thing here is we're going two sides of the country. We've got Western Australia, we've got a brewery over there, Mash Brewing, and yeah. we've got brewery over here on our coast, which is actually, the way you're looking at it might be the other way, I don't know. But a Victorian brewery, so. Can I just ask, what's, what's a dessert beer? What does that mean? It usually has dessert flavors. So, I'll give you a, an example here. All right, so, let's her off. Boom. We've got a beer from, uh, Moondog here in Victoria, and it's this one here. So this is called In the Crumble, The Mighty Crumble, and it is an apple crumble dessert sour ale. A lot of words. <laughs> I love it. It's a mouthful. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure this beer is going to be a mouthful as well. So this one here is our uh, Victoria entrant. So what we're looking at here, the good news is I tried to get these as close as I could to being similar. So uh, this one is a bit smaller, but it's 5.8% and so is our other Western Australia beer as well. So that's this one. What are we looking at here? Mash Brewing, bam, dessert beer as well. So what we've got is a lemon lime cheesecake Indian pale ale. Boom. There's a lot of words as well, bro. It is. <laughs> both mouthfuls, <laughs> both mouthfuls. I'm gonna come in with the lowest comment ever. But what are your thoughts, both? 5.8%? Um, Are you liking the sound of a cheesecake or a crumble? They sound good, like, I think we're, we're there's a chocolate sort of flavour that's usually associated with like the dessert stuff in my head, like chocolate dessert, makes sense, but I like to move away, because I don't like the chocolate and beer, but I think yeah. this could be a different angle, uh, like sweet flavour, maybe, I don't know, I've never tried the yeah, <laughs> I'm hoping that this lemon ch lime cheesecake is good because I've also had this one here from Valhalla, this lemon lime cheesecake sour I think, and that was pretty fucking rough actually. It tasted like lime cordial in the beer, like like a shit Corona but worse. But let's get straight into it. Well, we're not judging it by the cover. We're gonna get the flavour. Don't judge a beer by its cover. Ring a ding ding. I just came up with that. <laughs> Painted it. <laughs> Copyright. All right. Well, let's start getting this in the glass. What does it even look like? Oh, mate, there's some haze to that. I can do a bit of haze. Do a little bit of haze. Oh yeah. Well, at least it's not like chunky. Like there's been a couple of hazy beers that I've had recently that'll set them into the next level. What's this one? What are we watching? Crumble. Apple crumble. crumble eh? Here's a bit more for you. All right. Thanks, mate. Ugh. So as far as the <laughs> heat is concerned, next to nothing. What does it smell like though? Oh, it smells sweet. Oh, I'm getting involved. Does? I'm getting involved, mate. Let's go. No, I'm good, but it's almost got like a caramel smell to it. Like a toffee apple almost. Yeah, it's interesting. So out of the two, what were you going to say was the best? Or oh, you think was going to win? With what? Out of this crumble versus cheesecake. So for um, cheesecake. Cheesecake. Oh, I'm gonna go with the crumble. But here we go. Let's get into it. Cheers. Whoa. It's a lot of flavour. Fuck, that, that is all at once. Awesome. That's. Fuck, it is. It's like a toffee apple sour. Mmm. Oh, sweet. It is sweet. Yeah, I can see the toffee apple. But it also has like some delicious sour. Bro, that is a good beer. Yeah. Is it, is it a funnelable beer? Is it funnable? Funnel, uh, funnel able? Um, no. No. 
No. That would, <laughs> that would hit you to the max, man. That would be like... This is a good one. You, you, you want to sense it, you know, and the funnels just knock it back. The more I drink it, the less sweet and more sour it sort of gets. That initial mouthful was really sweet. But yeah, if you like toffee apples, I'll get on this. This is interesting, it's not bad. It's peaceful. That's why I, I look I look a lot for peaceful beers. <laughs> I don't know why. But it's uh and it's interesting. You can really taste the apple mm. coming through it. Yeah. That's good. It's yeah. the good thing is is that when it comes to these sort of flavoured beers, apple crumble, I don't think I would have guessed the crumble, but if you had said hey what there's a fruit flavour in here, I would guess apple. Sure. It's, it's better than a lot of other fruit flavours I've had as well, right? Because there's just a lot too much going on in a lot of fruit things like the tropical and mango and blah blah blah. Banana? Yeah. The four of diamonds? <laughs> That's a callback. <laughs> so, if we're looking at the untapped oh, no, review wait. score, this was a 3.75 out of 5, so a fairly high score. Yeah. High threes is awesome. If you're getting a one that's in the fours, I don't even know if I've seen one that's in the fours. What are you giving it? I could probably give it a four. I like it. If someone wanted a selection of craft beers, this is a beer that I, I could include in the selection. Yeah. Bro, I had, I like it. I will give it a four as well. Hey, sweet. Top. I went for a big like run on um dessert beers and I was just like fuck why haven't I done this before they're all good they're all good and then I had this one this is golden stout time dessert stout by what is it big shed brewing I don't know what's wrong with it bro I couldn't put my finger on it but it was it tasted disgusting and Ooh. since then I think I went a run of about three or four different dessert beers that I was just like oh bro I think I might tip these out I had this pavlova one up here it's actually pretty good Expensive as shit, but pretty good. I can see that though, like this after dinner, instead of having like an ice cream or whatever, let's, let's have one of them and it's yeah, yeah, catch your night of it's good. That is the thing, I think it, it's a complete different way of drinking beers. Instead of being like, oh sweet, I finally finished work, I'm gonna crack a dessert beer. Nah, bro, but yeah. if you're in the evening, a one beer. Like, instead of having, if you wanted to drink some alcohol in the evening, you might have a whiskey, something low key, a peaceful drink. Peaceful drink, bro. Then I think one of these is a peaceful drink. I liked it. But it brings us into round two, so let's see what this looks like in the pour. Bam. There's a bit of haze and that can't seep through it. Well, it actually looks alright. Oh, this is gonna be. This is gonna be sweet. Thanks, mate. So before you get into, what do you think of the can? Simple. Same as their branding's good. Yeah, I like it. It's bright. You got the white mesh brewing on all of them. It'll so fit on the shelf somewhere nicely. Yeah. Or it won't. All right. All right. What about the smell? Right. Just the smell. Nothing. No, well, yeah. It's not strong enough to me to sense it. I don't know. No, it smells kind of like it smells like a um, like a goes or a sour, like. But it's really weak. It does, it does, the room is not. But the other one, you just knew. I feel like I'm huffing on it, trying to get something, but. That's it. The only if I if so I got I wanted this. This would be the only smell I do. Oh, just it. I'm not gonna go. You know. But this is 80% of the flavour from the aroma. Yeah, but that's the aroma in your mind. Okay, alright, man. I don't know. Here, yeah, cheers, bro. Let's get into it. Bam! Cheesecake. Bro, bro this is a bit of a dub, bro. It's <laughs> almost. I can't say it's flavourless. Mmm. But it but I know just what you're goes nowhere. Yeah. This is gonna make this sound terrible, but like initially, the first taste I got was almost like I washed my glass in a pool. 
Like it almost said like a chlorine. <laughs> chlorine, you don't want to say it. Bro, you want to damn someone to this thing. Like, yeah, I'm making beers. Oh, what is it? Oh, it tastes like chlorine. <laughs> no, but it's like the bits. Oh. oh. But like, it's not bad. Honestly, two seconds and there's next to no flavor on my mouth. I'm not really even getting much flavor at all. Like a single beer, any beer you just drink, you'll have more flavor than this, I think. But no, like, initially... I'm not getting any cheesecake vibes or anything. Like, oh, no, nothing. Bro, this could be a Big Mac beer. And a, they're just chucking words in front of something to try to make it sound good. Mm. But, okay, so what am I getting from this? I'm getting... A, <laughs> I'm getting one second, or like an initial half a second of like a hoppy kind of beer, like almost kind of like a... Um, like a Maybe like a, well it is an IPA, so I was going to say, oh, sort of, I'm getting that, like, fractions of seconds of that. Mm -hmm. Then there's kind of like a, a sourness, which I think I'm getting the lemon and lime part from, maybe. It's a stretch. It's a stretch for me to say this is a lemon lime cheesecake. Yeah, it looks just like, it looks like what it looks like, like it's just... <laughs> what did I say? Boom. <laughs> Boom. Get that on a t shirt. It looks Bro. like what it looks like. But Bro, I mean, say it tastes like what it looks like. And it looks okay. like yeah. this. Nothing. Like, it's just. What you'd imagine. It's what you imagine it would be. Like, you saw it being poured. Like, yeah. that's kind of what it. And when you see what it smells like, it's kind of had a nothing smell. Yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is what it is. Like, it. Tastes what it looks like. Like, yeah, it's all fair. What about the can? Are they trying to trick us with the can? No, nah. no, nah, it's just, it's not. I don't know. It's not the, bad. It can't be bad because this is just. It's not a. What what was the term I was using for the other beers? Um, please, uh, peaceful, peaceful. Yeah, this ain't peaceful. I don't think it's peaceful. This is like dud it. But it goes back to these. I said these weren't anything to write home about. Nah, this well, isn't anything to write home about. Why I'm, why I'm saying it's not peaceful to me is because I'm trying to figure it out and it's gone before I can even figure yeah, it out. Okay, so I'm just... You just get a peek of it and then it's gone. It's not just like you drink it, that's the flavour. Hey, like you, we all get it. But this is like, what's going on here? Does that make yeah. any sense? It definitely does. <laughs> You're just getting a wisp of flavour and it's gone and before you can even register what it is. Yeah, it's just like, it... It tastes watered down in the flavour sense, not in the beer sense, like you can taste this. Yeah. It's got the, the fizz water, yeah, that's But even the beer, that float, like, I think it's like a watered down it's bar a of a beer. Yeah, it's nah, like it's... I'm giving it a Rory Doherty's lame beer. <laughs> like, which, is it funnable? Well, funnelable, yes it is. Yes. I, I think I could rock, I could do a yard glass of this, I think. Like 5.8%. Right, yeah, yes. <laughs> but, like, when you're doing a yard glass, you want, like, the most flavourless beer you can. Yeah, that's why Corona's good for me. Oh, God. I can't even remember what I did in the last, last yard glass. Have you ever done a yard glass? No. I've tried. But it didn't go down good. And right. I was like, I just did one of my own Maori. <laughs> I did full yard glass, one minute and 16 seconds. I was Do we have a clip of that? No, we don't. I think I got a couple of photos of it. Good times. So, in yeah. the battle of cheesecake versus crumble, oh, I think the... Hey, where are you I gave that one a... Three. Uh, I'd give it a middle of the road, 2.5. 2.5. Bam! In the battle of dessert beers, Moondog came out on top. And crumble, like, crumble, yeah, crumble's interesting. Uh, crumble. If someone wants to get on craft beers and say, hey, recommend me a dessert beer, I think this could be a contender. Yeah, get a couple crumbles. A couple of apple crumbles. <laughs> I don't know if that's what is this shit? a couple of apple Bro, crumbles. Said, I think I've said like five comments that it's gone nowhere. <laughs> I've stopped, I've stopped. But other than that, we'll leave you to it. Have a good one. Cheers.